and taking it is Davy Byrne. Davy Byrne kicks it to the bread basket of number 12. That's Paddy Small. Paddy Small moves it on to Alan Hubbard. Alan Hubbard has a shot from just outside the 20 metre line. Cushion ball down the wing. Brian Howard trying to run onto it. The Dublin minor captain of last year. Howard is between the 45 and the 20. Moves it off to midfielder Connor Talty. Connor Talty goes behind him. I think that's Brian Fenton having a go from outside the 20 metre line. If that goes over, it's a wonderful score. It is a fantastic score. And it is kicked by the corner forward, Gavin Ivory. Kevin Leahy hooks a pass inside the 20 metre line. Again, it's grabbed by a Ballymun man who's out in front, but he's got nowhere to go. It's Paddy Small. Paddy Small tries to shift it off to Carl Connolly, who's come up a long way. Carl Connolly onto the right boot, tries to curl it high and over the bar. That's exactly what Carl Connolly does. Moves it off to Fenton. Fenton takes the responsibility for the shot from between the 45 and the 20, and somehow he has bent that one over. That is absolutely brilliant from Brian Fenton. Beautiful pass outside. Galloping forward is Owen Dolan. Owen Dolan with number three in his back. Up to the 45 inside Rahini territory. Moves it off to Jason Whelan. Jason Whelan outside the 20 metre line. Draws it in with a beautiful kick from the left hand side. And that increases the lead. Jason Whelan's first of the game. Ballymun four points. Rahini two points. And three of the starting six Ballymun forwards have scored. And Ballymun have turned it over again. And again it's Jason Whelan. And Jason Whelan going for a second point in a row. And Jason Whelan has got his second point in a row. it down the line looking for James O'Kane James O'Kane is fouled and it's a free to Rahini just outside the 45 inside Ballymun territory now it's Owen Smith Owen Smith turns his back on the stand side gives it to a unmarked maroon jersey that's Rahini's David Shatwell David Shatwell down the left hand side Shatwell toe to hand solos up to the 20 metre line looks for an option finds one in the shape of Cody uh, Cody pops it over the top back to Shatwell Shatwell having a shot from the 13 metre line from the left hand side is the patience rewarded yes it is Dean Rock with the ball just outside the 20 metre line Dean Rock from a very tight angle on the terrace side gets his first point from play Owen Kyo between the 20 and the 45 beautiful kick pass moves it inside to Shadwell and Shadwell gets a great score patience rewarded again for Rahini Dean Rock into the church end Ballymun looking to extend their lead to 4 points 17 minutes gone in the first half good game so far right footed effort lots of curl lots of height lots of speed and the most important thing of all, it was accurate. And it's four points already for Dean Rock. Rahini have it just inside the 65, inside their own 65. Long ball kick down the park. They catch a break. It's into the hands here. James O'Kane up to the 20, up to the 13. Goal line. O'Kane! Oh, comes off the woodwork. Into the hands of corner forward. Gavin Ivory and Gavin Ivory puts it over when the goal was gaping. But instead he drops it inside the square. We're waiting for it. it was Rutherson Real. Rutherson Real read that one really well. And it's got kicked away here to Alan Hubbard. Hubbard has it in hand. He's inside the 20. Coming up to the 13. And decides to fist it over. Right, brings it inside the 45. Sees that Jason Whelan was making the run. Whelan up to the 20. Back inside it goes. They have it just outside the square. Oh, it's absolutely buried by Paddy Small. Really good pass the parcel football by Ballymun. Cut inside the Rahini defence. Ending up with it at a tight angle was Paddy Small, but he buried it past the goalkeeper. On rushing player coming through, that was Connor Talty who gives it off there to Owen Smith. Owen Smith inside the 45. Owen Smith spots a free man. That free man is Gavin Ivory, and Gavin Ivory gets a much needed score from just inside the 45. It's Ivory's third of the game, all from play. Sean McMahon is coming forward, he's inside the 20, inside the 13, he's at a tight angle, he might go for it, McMahon, oh what a goal, Sean McMahon came all the way up from midfield, he cut through the Ballymun defence on the left hand side, narrowed the angle but not that much, and then put it low past the goalkeeper Sean Curry, he could do nothing to stop it, and Rahini announced their arrival back in this game with a brilliant goal. Yeah, that was a brilliant goal. He ran, must have ran 60, 70 yards with it untouched. So it was poor from a Ballymun perspective. But when he got into the position and, you know, playing a full back, he probably doesn't get into that opportunity too many times. But it was a really good low finish. Sean McMahon ran down the park like someone left the gate open. Rock's going to go for it. It's going to drop inside the square. The keeper has let it go. It's almost pushed in. Comes out to Furman just inside the 13 metre line. And Furman right on cue gets a point. His first of the game. 
and Ballymun have won the ball back on the Rahini 45 it's inside towards Dean Rock who pushed it out to the left hand side and Ted Furman Ted Furman kicks his second score of the game from just outside the 13 metre line Stiffly, just shy of the 65, kicks it down the line. Nice turn on it there by James O'Kane. Picks it up on the 20, gets inside the 13, gets away from the clutches of the defender. He's inside the square. Oh, the shot is saved very well by the goalkeeper. But the referee says that the ball carrier, James O'Kane, was being fouled on the way through. So Rahini, at the very worst, get the free. James O'Kane will take the free. He's on the 13 metre line, just outside the square. Left footed, guides it over the bar. And a chip at that lead. Carl Connolly fists it down towards the 20 metre line and it's moved across the park by Paddy Small Paddy Small making an angle for Jason Whelan but Whelan doesn't give it to him instead picks a pass to Furman Furman in the square great save by the foot of the goalkeeper Connor Burns had that gone in it was good night and good luck for Rahini Dean Rock will take the 45 so the attack might end positively for Ballymun Rocky steps up Fists it down to Kevin Lahey. Kevin Lahey with his back to goal. Just outside the 45 inside the Rahini half. Trying to get away from the defence. Low ball along the ground to Carl Connolly. Connolly bounces outside the 20. Has a shot with the right. Kind of scooped it up. And it's gone straight over the bar. Stiffly takes it. Gets in between two. Moves it back inside to Owen Smith. Owen Smith trying to run along the 20 metre line. Shifts the pass out to the edge of the D. It's Donald Ryan. Donald Ryan from a standing position. Advantage is coming. Donald Ryan keeps it on frame I think. And he's got a vital score. John Small came forward, kicked it down towards the 20 metre line. Paddy Small has it, cutting across the 20, trying to shake off Rutherson Real. Has a pop at the post. Oh, that's an excellent score by Paddy Small, who adds a point to his goal from earlier on. And now it's Ballymun 117, Rahini 18. They come through the 65. Low ball played in by the boot of Davy Byrne. Davy Byrne picks out Furman. Furman sees a man running off his shoulder. He's inside the 13. Goal on here. Another fantastic save. Comes back out to Dean Rock who has a shot. It deflects around the place and somehow stays out. Rahini, by the skin of their teeth, avoid a second goal going in. Ball kicked inside again at the land with Jason Whelan. Just outside the square. Whelan on the left-hand side. Knew the angle was tight. Knew there was two players around him. Liam O'Donovan with it. He's going towards the 20 metre line. Moves it outside to Dean Rock. Dean Rock will have a go. Tries to draw it in from the 20 metre line on the right hand side. Dean Rock with a really excellent score. He's second from play in the game. You just want to try and make a direct impact straight away and get on the ball and, and use it well. Uh, trying to make it, make it hard for the manager to drop, leave you out of the team the next day. And Jason Whelan is making it very difficult to drop him. He has started. He's played well. He scored four points from play. He's just popped over the fourth. Now makes his way inside the Rahini 65. Outside of him, he's got Limo Donovan making a run down the right-hand side. Limo Donovan inside the 45. Long ball inside the square. Burns goes for it. Completely misses it. And Ted Furman is there to push it home. Limo on 2.23. Rahini 1.8. The one thing that you could say Burns has been susceptible to tonight. Yeah, he just doesn't look too comfortable under, under the high ball. And really, he should have done better. Uh, but in fairness to, to Ted Furman, he anticipated the, the flight of the ball got in a good leap and managed to flick it over uh, the goalkeeper's head and, and into net and that will do Ted's confidence a lot of good going into the semi-final for that last 20 minutes from a neutral point of view hasn't been great ball fisted inside the 13 metre line nothing wrong with the efforts and endeavour of Rahini moved back outside to Tazzy who was down injured a couple of minutes ago his shot dropped short into the hands of the goalkeeper it's not the first time that's happened tonight referee blows a full time whistle and Ballymun join Castleknock and St Jude's in the semi-final with the full-time score against Rahini of 2.23 to 1.8. And a score like that at any stage is always going to be good for the, for the, the confidence. Like. But the main thing, again, is that's what we're working on. Like, and the main thing is we just kept chipping away. No matter what, we just kept chipping the points away. And that was it. Yeah, well, you, again, people are going to have their opinions. And maybe over the last couple of years, we can say we probably weren't hungry. But what I can say is them 30 lads that are in that dressing room are dying for this championship. The hunger has always been, been there. It's been there from the start of the year. And we're just we're not going to leave any stone unturned. We're just going to make sure we're just well prepared for the next day, no matter who we get. Well, there the, 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 the has there had to be a huge honesty this year. It's it's just a prerequisite in the dressing room with regard to addressing where they actually were. The lads themselves know, like it, they, they won a Dublin and a Leinster, but they didn't 
they didn't win in all Ireland, and that's what they really wanted to do. And I think you know they see the likes of Bally Bowden and uh, you know uh, Vincent's and all going on there, and they know that they have that talent. I think. They, but the the huge the huge plus this year has the younger lads coming in and freshening that up. And you know there's been a great commitment in the background there from even our county players. So it is it's uh, it, 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 we're we're going to go going home for it now.